This is another linear programming problem from an Edexcel D1 paper, this time January 2012. This is question 6, and it's a fairly standard style of question. We've got a description, we've got a field, we're going to be planting some uh, apple trees and plum trees. We're going to use linear programming to determine the number of each type of trees that Edgar will plant. X is the number of apple trees, Y is the number of plum trees, and two of the constraints are X is greater than or equal to 40, Y is less than or equal to 50, and they're shown in this graph. The rejected regions are being shaded. So we've got to use these two constraints to write down two statements that describe the number of apple trees and plums that um, are plum trees that Edgar can plant. Well, we've got x is greater than or equal to 40, so I would write something like um, Edgar must plant at least 40 apple trees. Then for the other one, y is less than or equal to 50. Edgar must plant no more than 50 plum trees. So really, we're just translating those two statements into, um, into standard English text. OK, next part. Two further constraints are given by 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 360, and x is less than or equal to uh, 2y. We've got to add lines to the diagram, determine the feasible region, and label it R. So I'm going to work first of all with this one. 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 360, and I'm going to rearrange that to give me y is less than or equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 90. I can then plot that quite nicely and easily on this graph. So we've got a y-intercept of 90 and if we let our y equal 0 this would give us uh, what's that, 120. So that is going to be one of our constraints appearing like that. We want y to be less than that um, and so we are going to shade out all of this part here. So that's that first one. Then we've got x is less than or equal to 2y, or writing it another way, y is greater than or equal to a half x. Whoops, x. And so when we plot that one, we're going to be starting at the origin and half x. So let's choose that one, x is 120 gives y is 60, and joining that up, there's our other constraint line. And we want y to be greater than that, so we want the area above it. We don't want any of this section here. This then, this section, is our feasible region. That is what we're going to label with an R. OK. So. Edgar will, maxim, uh, will make a profit of £60 from each apple tree and £20 from each plum tree. He wishes to maximise his profit. Write down the objective function. So his profit will equal 60 times the number of apple trees and 20 times the number of plum trees. Nice and straightforward there. Use an objective line to determine the optimal point of the feasible region R. You must make your method clear. So this is going to be our function that we're working with. What I'm going to do is choose a value for p. I'm going to choose 1200 because that is a number that both 60 and 20 go into. So if I create that as an expression, I'm going to work out some values that will uh, make this statement work. So if I choose x being 0, then I would get um, y being 60. Or I could choose to let y be 0 and that would give me x is equal to 20. So that's giving me the end points of an objective line. So if I now draw those, uh, we've got 0 in the x, 60 in the y, and 20 in the x, 0 in the y. So we've got our objective line looking like that. We want to um, maximize the profit, so we're going to move this up and we get to, keeping that um, gradient the same, we get to this is the last point 
in the feasible region where we where we get when we move that line. So if we were minimizing profit, we would take our first one, this point. We're not, we're going to the last point that the um, line reaches within that feasible region. So we know that that is our um, optimal point. We've got to work out when that happens. It is the crossing point of these two constraints. So we've got these two equations, or y equals a half x and y equals minus 3 quarters x plus 90. We're going to solve these simultaneously. Essentially we've got half x equals minus 3 quarters x plus 90. Solving those, we're going to do a half x plus 3 quarters x equals 90, which gives us 5 quarters x equals 90. So x equals uh, 4 fifths times 90. And that is 90 times 4 over 5, 72. If that's what x is, we can work out what y is, of course, because we know that y is a half of x, so this gives us y must equal 36. So those two are our optimal values for, uh, for this problem. x is 72, y is 36. And the last part of the question is, we've got to find the maximum profit. Well, we're simply going to use those two values. Profit equals 60 times our value of x plus 20 times our value of y. And so that makes 5,040. And there's our maximum profit. Of course, I've squished it into a little bit of, uh, tiny little bit of space there. When you're doing these questions yourself, make sure that you write it out a little bit better than I've done. But other than that, that's how you solve this linear programming problem.